I do want to highlight to everyone what happens during an anaphylactic reaction because there is a difference between just a, a localized allergen or allergic reaction and true anaphylactic shock. This word is key because your body literally goes into shock when you have one of these reactions. Now it can happen with foods, medications, it can also happen with insect stings, with a bee sting for instance. Because what happens is when you're exposed to this allergen, whichever one it may or may not be, your body responds to it. This allergen, your body recognizes it as a foreign invader. It attaches to these antibodies, and what happens is these mast cells degranulate all this histamine. Now, if that histamine is just local, you might get a little local reaction. You might get a little bit of hives on your skin. But unfortunately, what can happen when it comes to anaphylaxis is within minutes of exposure to an allergen, food allergies, for instance, an anaphylactic reaction can occur where you get swelling of the mouth, swelling of the tongue and lips called angioedema. You can actually get constriction of your airways making breathing more difficult. Your airways may constrict, but what happens is your blood vessels may dilate and you'll have a systemic drop in your blood pressure. As all these things happen together, if you do not respond, you can die. And I'm not talking die in hours. I'm talking within 10 minutes if proper treatment is not given, someone can die. Now, what we have, luckily, is something called an EpiPen. This can be truly life-saving. This staves off what we call circulatory collapse. I want everyone to look at this label very closely. All you have to do is read. It's, it's quite simple. You're going to pull off the, the safety release, okay? And then you want to put it into a bigger muscle. So the thigh tends to be a very good spot for that. And literally, you're just going to auto-inject into the thigh, hold it for 10 seconds, and then you're going to want to call 911 and get help. Because without this, and I have to ask the two of you, I'm assuming that your friends, you've taught your friends how to use this? Yeah, most of my friends know how to use it. Because what you're going to see is if your friend, if it's, you know, if your friend has anaphylaxis, they're going to have potentially difficulty breathing, you're going to see potential swelling of the lips and tongue, but if they look in extremis like that, that model over there, that's time. That's yeah. when it's time to grab the EpiPen. Well, thank you all so very much for joining us. Best of luck.